friends, it's so good to see all of you here today. Last week we learned about being thankful makes us whole. There are many things we can be thankful for. Spending time with mommy and daddy, eating yummy food, and also cutting your hair at home. So today we're going to continue to learn about gratitude. Hey, let's take a look. Gratitude is actually a mashup of great and attitude. Wow! Why is gratitude a good attitude to have? Because when you are grateful, that's when you know it's not about what you have, but who you know. Ooh, oh, oh. It's, you, yeah. it's all about Him and saying thank you Jesus for all the things that He has done for us. Including the good things that the people around us have done for us and we say thank you to them. But when do we say thank you? When someone gives us a gift, Bingo! Thank you! When someone helps us, Come on, can you please help me out with this? Sure. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. When someone protects us This is so hard, I don't know how to do it Of course you can With God's help and with my help I'm always here and you can always ask me Thank you daddy You're welcome When someone is with us in times of trouble Yes we give thanks to someone when they are nice to us, when they help us, when they protect us, and they are with us through times of trouble. Aww. There is one person that does all of this for us, and he never fails. He is always, always, always there. I'm sure you know who that is. It's Jesus! Yes, that's right, it's Jesus. Always tell him that you are thankful. Thanking Jesus is a way to praise Him. Psalms 118 verse 1 tells us to, to give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love endures forever. King Jehoshaphat and God was with him because King Jehoshaphat followed and obeyed God. However, there were a few countries that wanted to fight against King Jehoshaphat's kingdom. When he heard of it, King Jehoshaphat was very afraid. So he begged God for his help and asked everyone in his kingdom to gather together to ask God for help and ask everyone in his kingdom to fast 
and the people came together to seek God's help. King Jehoshaphat stood in front of everyone and prayed, O oh Lord, you are a powerful and mighty God. No one is greater than you. So please stop the armies from attacking us. We do not know what to do, but we are looking to you for help. All the people in the kingdom, men, women, and little children, stood there before the Lord, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon one of the men standing there. And he said, Listen, God says to not be afraid, for the battle is not ours, but God's. We did not need to fight, for God is with us. Then everyone worshipped God and praised God. Then King Jehoshaphat sent the singers to walk ahead in front of the army, and they praised God as they led the army. The very moment they started praising, an amazing thing happened. God caused the armies of the other kingdoms to fight against each other. When King Jehoshaphat's army came to overlook the battlefield, the enemy was defeated. The army went to collect the valuables and there was so much that it took them three days to collect it all. They were overjoyed and praised God. They returned home joyfully with singing and praising because the Lord had given them the victory and the kingdom of Jehoshaphat was at peace because God had given peace. King Jehoshaphat did one simple thing that made a difference. Jehoshaphat and his army sang praises to God when they were in troubles, which is a way of thanking God even before God helped them. The best part is God never fails, and God fought the entire battle for Jehoshaphat and his army. You can praise Jesus and thank Him before the good things happen. And the good things will happen for sure because God is faithful. Hey, don't worry. God can help you. Yeah, but this is the hardest exam. How is He going to help me? This was your exam paper from last year. Didn't you say this was one of the most hardest exams during that time? Yes, it was so hard. In fact, everyone came out of the exam hall crying. I thought I would fail. But then what happened? Well, God helped me to ace the exam. Thank you, God. Yep, and He can help you with this one too. Thank you, God, for helping me ace the last exam. Thank you for helping me to ace the coming exam. Amen. The more we thank God, the more we see Jesus in our life. Then you realize, hey, He has always been there for us. Kids, remember to always be thankful and thank Jesus. Thank Him for being so good to us and we thank Him every single day. Some people write down all the good things that has happened to them in the day and they thank Jesus for it. Then afterwards, that they will share it with their friends and their family. We also can do the same. Come, let's write down all the good things that God has done for us together. Take a pen and don't forget your book. Here are some of the good things that has happened to your friends. Let's take a look. I thank God for his protection and blessing upon me. I thank God for knowing what is best for me by providing me with all my needs and keeping my family in good health and safe always. I thank God for the protection He gives to my family and the nice food for us to eat and the wisdom that he gives us in our studies. I thank God for my studies and all the teachers that are guiding me. I thank God for my lovely parents and my brother. I thank God for family, friends, teacher, a roof over my head, things that I care about, and clothes. 
Chance, chance, chance in Christ.